Hello, good morning, and welcome to this mid-morning rum taste challenge. Gold rums aged not too long. Um, at this taste challenge, I'll have nine days to make up this month that I can't do the challenges. You say, well, there's really no need to do 31 taste challenges in 31 days. Yeah, there's no need at all. I agree with that, but it's just the challenge of trying to do it, you know, just say, can I do it? I had 11, 11 days I was trying to make up now, sign a nine, and I think I'll, I'll make it. <laughs> now, what does that accomplish? It doesn't accomplish anything important because, first of all, doing a rum taste challenge is not important, right? It's nice, it's fun, but it's not important. It's like a beer review, it's not important, okay? Was, so here's uh, uh, the beautiful Bacardi Gold, introduced in 1862. There's the Bacardi Bat, origi originated in Cuba, but now produced in Puerto Rico. There's the bat embossed on the back of the bottle. Nice, huh? And then it says in the embossment, 1862, with the gold band. And then on the back, they show the Rums of Puerto Rico Trade Association. I would strongly recommend checking out that website. There's some very interesting things on there. Some people were commenting to me saying, uh, hey, what's wrong? I've been trying to comment, make comments on your live streams, and it's not letting me do it. Is there something wrong? I think there is something wrong uh, for the past couple of weeks with uh, the YouTube platform. Uh, I'll give you an example. I got on there this morning to check a few comments, and then it said 462 comments held for review. I was like, "Why? Wow, what? Usually it'd be like one or two, like possible spam, you know? I said 462, and then I checked the comments. Well, most of these I had read already. I had read these, I believe, and they were just normal comments like, oh, my uncle used to drink that beer or... Uh, you know, do you have any idea where I can find this wine, things like that? I said, something is wrong. <laughs> so I just, it took like 20 minutes to go through there, check them all off, approve it, check it all off, approve it, check it all off. And I said, whoa, what a tedious job. Then none of them were showing up on my list saying comments you have never responded to. That's what it shows now, like comments you've not responded to which sometimes I have responded and I posted them and then it didn't, it said I didn't. So that's been going on for months. Uh, I can't explain it. They come up with new things all the time. You know, 10 years ago, everything worked fine, you know, then they decided let's make it better. And it got worse, I think. And other people have commented on that. The competitor today, another gold rum, but this is an age, but no age statement. Appleton Estate Signature Blend from Jamaica. So we have an American gold rum from, well, a, a Puerto Rico, I'm sorry, Puerto Rican gold rum, but it's middle America from an American, United States, American Commonwealth country. Okay. Puerto Rico uh, versus a Jamaica, a, a, a age, but no age statement, age gold rum from a Commonwealth realm. <laughs> Commonwealth realm. Puerto Rico has a governor. And Jamaica has a governor general. Neither country has a president. The United States of America has a president. Mexico has a president. These countries have a governor and a governor general. You say, uh, I'm not interested in all that. I got gotcha. you. For the original Cuba Libre. And then that. Uh, Bacardi always has recipes on the back. And even if it's Castillo, they're less expensive rum line. They have recipes on the back for making cocktails. Pretty interesting, huh? Nice metal cap. Not plastic. Not plastic. Expertly crafted by the uh, Bacardi Rum Masters. It says Bacardi Gold is blended using rum aged between one and two years in oak barrels. So they're giving you an age range more than an age statement, one to two years. So let's say a year and a half old. Then shaped, we would say blended, but they're going to say shaped through a blend of charcoals, not blended, filtered, I mean. Shaped through a secret blend of charcoals to craft a remarkable smooth rum character. 
so these companies like to use fancy words like we would say it's it's filtered through charcoal but they say no it's shaped and um jack daniels say mellowed charcoal mellow now this is a metal cap also the appleton estate the appleton estate signature blend that's their standard gold rum is uh about 1990 1995 about 1995 for a bottle and it's almost red it's amber though but it gives you a red I guess it's from the late wood. If the light hits a certain way, it looks red, but it isn't red. The Bacardi Gold around here, I can't speak for other places, run you about $14 a bottle, okay, $13.99. So let's say $14 a bottle, $20 a bottle, round off. I got a great deal at Matherns because I got this for $9.99. Can you believe it? I said $9.99 a bottle. I didn't know what it, the normal price was. So I went home. I, I said, when I get a chance, I'm going to research the price for the. So I looked it up on various online websites and it was $20, $22 a bottle. I said, please let there be someone I go back tomorrow. There was a couple of bottles, like two bottles, $9.99. I said, thank you. I'll buy it. Blue Ribbon says, hey, Ron. Hey, Blue Ribbons. I hope you didn't have any trouble posting comments, but I think you see they're always reformatting. The YouTube platform and it screws up like it's all screwed up. Ing. Um, I don't have a favorite here because I don't have a favorite rum. I just like most of them, you know. But what I'm saying is I don't have a like a dedicated brand that I'm just a fan of. But the Appleton Estate is mighty fine. I dripped a little. Let me. Wipe it up. I'm going to leave these bottles out in case I need to refer to them. Well, they're clearly gold, you see. The Bacardi gold is more gold than the Appleton Estate. The Appleton Estate's a little more amber. This one's a little more gold. This one's a little bit country, and this one's a little bit rock and roll. You know what I mean? So, like, uh, hey, man. Um, I think I have to add a little bit more. I'm not trying to drink too much rum, no. I'm not. I'm actually trying to be stingy about it because I want to save the Appleton for more challenges. What I'm really trying to do is pour as little as possible. But it isn't working out. I'm already down to 80, 85% uh, of the bottle. I think the Bacardi is going to be noticeable. That's a great deal you get sometimes. That's great deals you get sometimes. Oh, no, no joke. I'm not bragging on Louisiana. In this case, although I do brag on Louisiana, but I'm not, I, I just find great deals on stuff. So, I mean, if I find great deals, I'll find great deals. If I lived in a state where everything was sky high and I couldn't get a good deal, I would say I live in a state like that. I would complain about it. You know, I would. Um, but it just so happens that when I shop around, I always, it seems like every time I go shopping, I'm finding some great crazy price not so much on beer beer prices seem to be not the best around here i mean you can find deals but it isn't con it is not common mm -hmm. one of those fake call numbers um you can find deals around here but it's not too common on beer wine yeah but knock you out um 
Beer, you don't find great deals around here. Wine, not really, unless, unless it's a closeout. And a lot of stores will do that. So, like, you might get a $12 bottle of wine for $3.99. I got one the other day. Two bottles for $2.99. Now, that was craziness. But I was like, I don't even know if this stuff's any good. And these are one and a half liter bottles. Not the, not the seven and a half. I mean, 7.750. Not the 750. Trash. Not the 750. The 1.5 liter bottles I got for $2.99. Now, whether it's any good, I don't know. But liquor prices, that's the, what I was trying to say for this phone call from the spammer. Talk about spammers. We get crazy prices around here, and I, I can't explain it, but we get them, you know. Hello, Ron. Hello, Maxwell. You say, well, that's why you got that huge backstock of all these liquors. It is the reason why I have the backstock, because of getting deals that are beyond the pale of any reasonable expectation of getting a deal. You know what I mean? Now, I've got the Bacardi website right up there, and I got the... Appleton Estate, in case I need to refer to them, and I don't think I will. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can get it right on aroma only, and I can sip on these for the next couple of hours. I always say that, and then I end up drinking them. But um, a lot of wood, grain. I say grain spirits, but it ain't no. It's no grain in it. It's sugar, molasses. But there's some spirits, you know, like liquor booze baby so that's um i think i know what it is all right let's go over here roasted marshmallow okay so that's the appleton estate it's like they roast it almost to where it's burnt and they stop like their master distiller knows what to do stop like if you're sitting by a fire and you're roasting marshmallows that 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 so does Bacardi Gold and Appleton Estate Signature Blend smell one like the other? No, they don't at all. They look, they don't even look alike because the Bacardi's Gold and the Appleton Estate's like a amber gold, almost like a reddish hue to it. Oh, the Bacardi gives me like a yeast note, almost like sourdough bread. I know, makes no sense. Just telling you what I'm experiencing. The Appleton Estate. It's strong, but I'm not. I don't. I don't mean it's strong liquor. No, it's like a strong sugar. Like I say, roasted marshmallow, strong. Bold, loud. Mm. I don't know how you are. You might just hate it. You might smell that and say, "Oh, run, run." It seemed like you could smell it a mile away. Nice review, says jo Joseph. Hey, thank you. All right, so now I'm going to taste it, and then I'm going to get off here. I got to go cut the grass. All right, taste. I, I don't know why I'm tasting. I know what it is. I know this is the Bacardi, and I know that's the Appleton Estate. That is a guarantee. I'm not going to get it wrong. No way. I'm never going to get it wrong. Never. When I do all the other rums, the gold rums, impossible. will not get it wrong. I'm telling you that up front. Bacardi Gold. That is so smooth. Sweet, sugary, rich, mellow, light molasses, and smooth. Like, and then there's a tanging quality, almost a tanginess, like, but not harsh. Like when if you chew on a sugarcane stalk, it can be really harsh. It'll make your teeth hurt. It's so intense, concentrated sugar. It probably make your teeth rot. It's probably what's happening. But you just, I could never do it. People was, they, when we were children, they'd say, chew on, I said, I can't chew on that. That's like, oh, it's too intense. And then you could buy the Steens Pure Cane Syrup. It's made with cane sugar. I can't take it. It's, it needs to be blended. You know, you just, you're, 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 it's revolting, really. And my mother used to want us to put that on pancakes. It was like it was ruining the pancake, you know. 
I just couldn't take it. And then, uh, I mean, I would have to take it because that's all we would get. But then as I got older and moved out on my own, I wanted to try syrups that were blends. So I, I like the blends much better. There would be a blend of corn syrup, pure cane sugar, and maple syrup, pure cane syrup, maple syrup. And they were much milder. These are blends. Now, this is a blend of one to two year old rums, and then it's dripped through a complicated melange, melange of charcoal from various types of wood. Well, it really is complex. I mean, you can disparage it if you want, talk bad about it. Somebody told me, Bacardi, that's a high school rum. I said, high school rum, okay. I said, what are you talking about? He said, that's what we would drink in the parking lot before we went to class in high school. Um, I'm thinking that's not good practices, you know. That's how you become an old alcoholic, you know. But um, he's probably telling the truth, and uh, but I don't... <laughs> I don't see that as a, it's just that, I think it's a quality product. Whatever you want to sip in a parking lot is up to you, but it's a quality product. There's no way around it. It's a good. Okay, $14 a bottle, fine. I don't care. It's inexpensive. I don't care. I like it. And I bet you the, the consistency is pristine. You know what I'm saying? On point. Like you could go anywhere in the world and buy a Bacardi rum, assuming it's really Bacardi. You go to some of these countries, it'd be switched. They could very corrupt. But um, it's going to be the same. It's like Budweiser beer. It's going to always be the same. Now you might say, well, I don't think Budweiser is that great. Okay, fine. It'll always be the same. Okay. Okay. Um, Good morning, everyone. Cheers. Ronald says Blake TV. Hey, Blake, cheers to you. Is is it spring yet down there? Yes, it has been for about a month. Well, let's say three weeks. About three weeks been springtime. It's warm today. It'd be about 80 degrees. I have socks on, but my feet are getting a little warm. And um, last night it was 62, I think. I had the windows open, slept with the windows open all night, all the windows, you know. Just warm. I mean, it's all the trees are full of blooms. There's pollen everywhere. You go out, your vehicle's covered with yellow. So yeah, it's spring in full force for three weeks now. Definitely, definitely for two weeks. Budweiser Nitro Infused Reserve Gold. One of my favorite rooms is Bacardi says Joseph. I went to Matherns this morning, but they didn't have the Budweiser yet. I checked their website. It didn't list it as being in our area. It said, sorry, try another another uh, zip code or in Canada, they say postal code, postal code. Uh, <coughs> I told the, the Budweiser salesman yesterday, the Anheuser-Busch salesman, I said, as soon as I get it, I'm, I'm going to do a review. I'm going home. I'm chilling it down. I'm reviewing it. I want to be the first one to do it. He said, it should come in tomorrow. Well, that was yesterday. Today's Tuesday, but I didn't see it. I'm not going to go into some great search for it. I'll probably get it cheaper at Walmart. Might be at Walmart. I didn't feel like going to Walmart this morning, but I wouldn't be shocked if it's over there. No. Oh, it's a it's five percent like Budweiser, but it's higher calories. I don't know why. And it's it's nitro. You gotta turn the can like that and pour it straight in. I had the nitro Budweiser at uh, the brewery in Houston five years ago, and they had the special tap. They had to pull it one way and pull it the other way, and it made the nitro. Oh, it was fabulous, but they said not too many people wanted to order it. Like the bars had to order that contraption and they were like, yeah. So it didn't really catch on because the bars that could sell a draft said, we ain't paying all that money for Budweiser Nitro. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> was interesting. Good morning, RJT. Having a glass of George Dickel Rye to join you. Oh, hey, what's whiskey scotch d i have some uh george dickel cascade hollow on that shelf in the next room back there not this room the next room you can't see the next room and uh well you can see that little olympia beer sign i could turn it on you'd see it um 
the Cascade Hollow. I got a liter, one liter bottle. It's awesome for eight ninety nine. <laughs> Talking about sales and deals, eight ninety nine for George Dickel Cascade Hollow Red Label, no longer produced. I said, "Oh no!" I brought I bought two bottles. I gave one to my friend David. He was like, "Oh!" He was like in shock, you know, like, "Oh man!" I was like, "I told you I'd come through, man." He he insisted on immediately reviewing it. Of course, he went back and bought another bottle, and now it's all gone. I mean, it was gone in a week. I mean, what do you think? It was gone in less than a week. Ain't no way that's going to stay on the shelf. George Dickel, a liter for $8.99? No. Nah. If you go to a liquor store and see that, and you say, I'm going to get it later, ain't going to be no later. It's gone. It's not going to happen. Louisiana is not going to happen. I don't know about your state, but this is too much of a liquor state. This is a drinking state with a football problem. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't play around in this place. They got people on the prowl. I'm not, I'm on the prowl. Okay. But they got probably a hundred other people just like me and they're out scouting. They're scouting discount depot. They're scouting Savannah discount. They're scouting international market. They're scouting super discount store. And if they see a deal like that, George Dickel Cascade Hollow for $8.99 a liter, the word will be out and it's going to be gone. Believe me, that will not last. That That is an impossibility. It cannot happen. So when you see it, you had better buy it. When I saw the uh, Shivas Regal Mitsunara aged in Japanese oak at Savannah Discount, I thought it was like a misprint at first. The tag, I said $18.99. I said one of their workers put the wrong price tag. I'm going to bring it up to the checkout just to see. And the guy was like, hey, that's the best price you ever saw, huh, boss? I was like, that's $18.99? Yeah, full-size bottle. You're never going to see a deal like this again. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, you're pretty much right. And the whiskey scout was like, humma, humma, humma. It's $60 a bottle in my town. Get me a bottle. I did. Well, hell, I mean, excuse my language. It's fifty dollars a bottle here in in normal cases. Go to go scout around to various liquor stores and find Shivas Regal Mitsunara. It's going to be forty eight ninety nine, fifty ninety nine. That's it. Not eighteen ninety nine. So naturally, I bought it. Did I need scotch? No, I got too much already. All right. The Appleton estate is so roasted caramel. It's roasted like uh, it is caramel, but it's like roasted marshmallow. I don't know. I, I can't. I, I guess I'll have to keep saying this for all the taste challenges. You'll get sick of hearing it. Right. Just think a roasted marshmallow. It's sweet. It's sugary, but it's not overly sweet. It's not overly sugary, sugary. It's not overly woody. It's not overly roasted. It's not overly anything. It's like perfectly balanced. These people are master producers, right? They've been doing it since 1749. Well, they say they, they know they've been in business longer than that. They only are able to find records going back to 1749. Paperwork. The, the oldest paperwork they have is 1749. But if you read that, they say if you read the paperwork, it's obvious that it was older than that but they can't substantiate it. So they just go with that oldest date they can find. All right. It's like perfect, really. Honestly, it's like a perfect rum. Now is it the best rum? This is their base model. All right. So imagine what their upper level ones taste like. If their base model is perfect, then imagine what it's like above that. It's like the Johnny Walker Red Label. That's like a flawless product. So imagine what it's like up the scale. I, don't, I know you'll read comments talking dog on Johnny Walker Red like it's the worst trash, but I, 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 no way. Uh-uh. 
That's people stunting and fronting. They can't be serious. They're just trying to establish street credibility. And people do that on the internet, try to show how cool they are and how much of an expert they are. They get on the internet and they talk trash about well-known products, about how it's really not good and they would never give it to anyone and they would never certainly ever drink it. It tastes like airplane glue and rodent skeletons and all of this. You know, it's like, come on, man. You know it's not bad. You're just saying that because you're trying to impress people and I'm not impressed. The Bacardi Gold. It's the same thing. It's like a perfect, per perfect product. Are there much more expensive Bacardi products? Of course. I bought the Bacardi uh, Grand Reserva Diaz, the 10 year age. That's $40 a bottle. That is not their top of the line product. That's just like getting into the really good. I mean, they've got bottles you can buy that are special production that might be $300 a bottle, two or $300 a bottle. Same thing with Appleton Estate, all right? So if their base model is superb, outstanding, fabulous, all right? Imagine what the upper level products are gonna be. And that's no joke. And I'm serious about that. And I'm not saying that to try to like, you're saying, oh, you're just saying all that so that those companies will send you stuff. I don't need anything from these companies. All right. I don't know these companies. I'm telling you what I'm thinking about. I think they're that good. Good morning. Oh, I already read that comment. All right. So um, which one's better? Uh, They're distinct one from the other, but I don't know if I like to use the term better. I don't know if one is better than the other. They're just different and they're like fabulous in their own unique way, right? So if you like the more smoother, more traditional gold rum thing, the Bacardi Gold is gonna be like in the hole, a hole in one, you know what I'm saying? But if you like a little more exotic flavor, like a camp out, the marshmallows, like I said, the Appleton estate is gonna hit the nail in the head, but I love both, I mean. I think in my case, being from Louisiana, which is a Southern state and people like things more colorful and loud, and you might be from up North and say, you mean to say tacky, you people lack refinement. I wouldn't actually argue against what you're saying, but however you want to frame it, I kind of like those more boisterous um, flavors. So I think I'm going to pick the Appleton Estate as one I would prefer, but taking price point into consideration, $14 a bottle versus $20 a bottle, I don't think the Appleton Estate is really $6 a bottle better. It might be, and maybe I'm confused to an extent. But um, if I was just looking purely at price, purely at price, like, well, yeah, I think I'll go with Bacardi. Except in my case, <laughs> I got the Appleton Estate for $9.99, and I had to pay $12.95 for the Bacardi. So, you know, in my case... The Appleton State, I preferred, and it's cheaper, but that's not a real world scenario, okay? So don't think you're going to go shopping around and find Appleton State for $9.99 a bottle. It ain't going to happen. I mean, it might. I mean, President Trump might call you up and say, would you like to go eat lunch with me? I'm going to have egg salad sandwiches and 7-Up. It could happen, but the chances are remote. It's like the movie Casino. You got hit on a machine three times in a row. That cannot happen. Like you told him, that cannot happen. The probability is in the billions. It, ca it cannot occur. No one is going to go in a casino and hit on a slot machine and hit the jackpot three machines in a row. That cannot. Mathematically, that can't happen. There has to be some kind of corruption going on. 
and you're not going to go buy these. You're not going to get the prices I'm getting. All right. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. Whiskey Scotch D said, always wanted to ask, are those National Geographic magazines behind your beer bottles? Yes, those are National Geographic magazines. And I have them going back. Well, I have a complete run, a complete run, like psh, the whole run from 1923 to 2017. I stopped buying it in 2017 because they were so left wing. They didn't have articles about geography anymore. Every Every magazine was like, transgender how does it affect the world it's like this is not about geography this is social revolutionary activity i don't want to read this i want to read about canada or or about cameroon i don't want to read about um well whatever they write about you know what they always write about something like that you know it's like they always you know i want a geography magazine that's about well you know geography uh but that had not been the case since at least 2000, 2000. And so the magazine had deteriorated so badly that I just canceled the, the subscription. I was like, I can't deal with this. I don't want to read it. I don't want to read the articles. I don't care about the history of uh, wagons. I mean, they come up with stupid stuff like the history of uh, carts. Well, in uh, 1680, Jan... Van Hoosen invented the cart, which would roll better than the previous cart. What does this have to do? Or, or uh, 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 what is going to happen to America's highways? Um, this guy, Gary, Gary Smithson of uh, Johnson City, Tennessee, complained that the potholes in his town were so terrible. This is not... Okay, but anyway, that's them. I have one issue I'm missing. It's from 1950, and I just can't get it. I have a, um, I've read it, but I don't have, but anyway, uh, yeah, 1923 is my oldest in the continuation. I actually have it back to 1918, an original copy, 1918, with a map. Thank you very much. The races of Europe. So yeah, and I've read them all, read them all, read every single magazine. It took me from 1995 to 2005. It took me 10 years of reading. I would read 100 pages a day every day. Or at least an article a day. Well, it was it was arduous. But I always think of geographic things that I didn't know I knew. And I was like, I know that because I read all that, you know. It's like reading the Bible every day. I read the Bible every day, every day, every day. I read a chapter a day since 1989 in the Bible. So when people talk about the Bible, I was like, oh, yeah, right. Did you know that that lady put a nail in his head? <laughs> They're like, what? I was like, yeah, you never read that story. Reserve, Bacardi Reserve, Limitada Rum, right. Appleton wins it for me, too. I haven't had it for over a decade. Enjoy the taste. Yeah, so, um, all right, enough jibber-jabber. The Appleton Estate wins by just a little bitty tiny bit, but that would mostly be based on personal preference. So I don't think it actually wins in a real sense. So on my personal preference, I slightly prefer the Appleton Estate, but it's close. Now, what about Castillo Gold? <sighs> okay. Could be a week from now before I do that, but that's okay. No rush. Castillo Gold is strange. I don't want to say it's sloppy because it isn't. It's not at the grade of Bacardi Gold. It's a lower grade product because it's $7.99 a liter, $8.99 a liter, and Bacardi Gold is much more expensive per liter, probably $20.99. Um, the Castillo gold is unusual. It is part of the house of Bacardi today, the Bacardi limited. I think it was a separate company at one time, uh, Castillo SE. Yeah. But, um, it's definitely an interesting product. Can't get bored with it, but I don't think it can match up to Appleton estate. I really don't. I don't think that's going to happen. Skull gold. That's going to be a wipeout, you know? Um, 
what are some other gold rooms I have? Uh, I don't have too many. And then I'm going to pivot back to white rum. So uh, get ready because uh, after I go through the golds, the, the, the um, Castillo, the Skull, and I think I know there's one more. I'd, oh, Aristocrat. I think I have Aristocrat. Oh, and Ron Pataba. Oh, oh, Ron Pataba tastes like rubbing alcohol, you know. Oh, man. You can drink it, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then I'm going to go to White Rum, and I'm going to do Albertsons. You say, oh, no, not Albertsons. Well, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. White Rum, Albertsons, $2.99, a half liter. Uh, I'm sorry, half uh, fifth, $3.75. Even if it's horrible, I haven't lost anything. But here's the, here's the rub. If the Albertsons is good, which I'm not expecting it to really be good. But let's just say that it actually is good. I'll go back to that Albertson store and buy another bottle. And so then I would have bought a $7.50 for $5.98. Well, heck, may as well, right? All right, uh, so... Uh, and then I'll bring in some real credible stuff like, um, oh, yeah, Cruzan, Cruzan White and Cruzan uh, Gold. And it's an Añejo. Cruzan Gold is an Añejo. It's an aged, it has an age statement. I was talking to this guy at the baseball game. He gets kind of, he gets kind of like prickly, you know, like irritated or something. I was like, Hey, did you know they had a Cruzan Gold uh, Diamond Edition? He said, "What do you mean? What do you mean?" I said, "A Diamond Edition. It's like seventy dollars a bottle. You know, it's like real, real expensive. They have the black, the the gold, the white. It's called Diamond, Diamond Exclusive, or whatever. Can't remember the name." He was like, "Well, uh, I've been drinking Cruzan for years, and all I know is it's really cheap." I said, look, I'm not saying that the Cruzan isn't inexpensive. I'm saying there's a diamond edition that's very expensive, right? Uh, he didn't want to hear that. But I told him on Sunday, I said, all these companies, Gene, his name is Gene. I said, all these companies, and I don't care what brand it is, they have an expensive offering, you know, Cuddy Sark. Okay, all right, $15 a bottle. But there's a Cuddy Sark exclusive edition. We saw that in Georgia. John and Neely can verify that. It was $249 a bottle. I was like, oh, $249 a bottle. He was like, I'm not buying it. I said, I know, but um, this is what is offered. It's not for just... Joe Blow and me and you. It's for people that are, want to really get into it. I don't know why he got irritated by, by that. I was like, it's like he thought I was trying to intimate that he should buy it. I wasn't saying he should buy it. I'm saying, did you know that they have a diamond edition? No, I don't know. Some people just don't want to hear new things. Hey, Ron, up in New England. Ron's beer reviews and tools is in New England. Yeah, I don't know why people would like take exception to that. If you get on the internet and research liquor, liquor, beer, you know, liquor, uh, it could be cognac, uh, whiskey, um, rum, brandy, gin, doesn't matter. It's kind of like after you research all these companies, it's kind of like a known thing. It's a known thing that these companies put out their regular old stuff, which 99% of the people buy. And then there's, there's the special reserve, the, the stuff that's you know, two or three hundred dollars a bottle, which they don't typically list on their website, but some do, some don't, and that you're probably not going to find. And if you do stumble across it, it's going to cost an absolute fortune. Okay, Captain Morgan. Oh yeah, all right, same thing. They have Captain Morgan White Rum versus Albertson's White Rum. 
yeah, that's in the lineup. I'm definitely going to do that. Would I expect the Albertsons to be Captain Morgan? I'm not a fool. I, I wouldn't believe that. No, but it could give it up. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to make a comment. All right. We'll see. All right. We'll see. All right. Now it's time to cut the grass. Uh, um, the next one coming up is the uh, Castillo Gold. If you want to watch it, go ahead. I don't think it's going to be much of a challenge. I wouldn't necessarily tell you to watch it because it's going to be just like retro, like a a repetitive thing, you know, like I've seen this before. Yeah. All right. Thanks. All right. Got to go.